Hello, I'm Lynn Bondurant, and in this program, the Moonwalk series continues. In this show, we relive that magic moment when Neil Armstrong made one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We listen to people from all over the world voice their opinions of what Apollo 11 success means to them. Look down. Look down. That fragile bubble of life afloat on a sea of nothing. Spaceship Earth.
plus zero zero one nine or zero. Roll is your option. Pitch two one three three five seven. Noun forty four is NA. Delta VT zero zero one at nine or seven. Zero zero three zero zero one five two. I've got the morning news here, if you're interested, over. Yeah, we sure are. We're ready to copy and comment. Okay, uh, first off, uh, looks like it's going to be impossible to get away from the fact that uh, you guys are dominating all the news back here in Earth. Even uh, Pravda in Russia is headlining the mission and calls Neil the czar of the ship. I uh, think maybe they got the wrong mission. Among the uh, large headlines concerning Apollo this morning is one asking that you watch for a lovely girl with a big rabbit. Hello there, Earthling. Hello there. An ancient legend says a beautiful Chinese girl called Chang'o has been living there for 4,000 years. It seems uh, she was banished to the moon because she stole the tail of immortality from her husband. You might also look for her companion, a large Chinese rabbit, who is easy to spot since he is always standing on his hind feet in the shade of a cinnamon tree. The name of the rabbit is not reported. Okay, we'll keep a close eye with the bunny girl. And in Corby, England, an Irishman, John Coyle, has won the world porridge eating championship by consuming 23 bowls of instant oatmeal in a 10 minute time limit from a field of 35 other competitors, over. I'd like to enter Aldrin in the oatmeal eating contest next time. He's on his 19th bowl. <laughs> Roger. Back here in uh, Houston, uh, Mayor Louis Welch promises the lifting of lawn watering restrictions if the rains continue. And the big news around Houston today concerns the Astros. In the sports world, the Houston Astros rallied in the ninth inning at Cincinnati to dump the Reds, seven to four. Your three wives and children got together for lunch yesterday at uh, Buzz's house. Uh, according to Pat, it turned out to be a gift that President Nixon is planning to use his executive power to streamline the Interstate uh, Commerce Commission. It was reported Nixon would trim He was later in the week enthusiastically welcomed at the Jackie Gleason golf match in Miami, Florida, where local residents celebrate. As air pollution reached critical levels, the Senate unanimously backed a National Environmental Policy Act to make the safeguarding of the physical environment. Astronauts are not the only explorers in the news. San Diego awaits the arrival of Mrs. Sharon Adams on her solar crossing of the Pacific. Seen here leaving Yoka. California couple said they plan to marry at the precise moment Armstrong sets foot on the lunar... In Vietnam, things are relatively quiet with only a few firefights. 814 men of the 3rd Battalion, 60th Infantry... GIs north of Saigon were evacuating villagers. In the Mekong Delta, a South Vietnamese force was... New riots broke out in Northern Ireland during the celebration marking the 297th anniversary of the Battle of Boyne. Protestant victory over the forces... More witnesses in its investigation of student disorders that took place at Harvard and other universities last spring. 10,000 Harvard students... Registration for the Black Panther Party convention being held at party headquarters in Oakland. The White House, Quakers had gathered to continue their silent vigil against... The Grand Prix auto races at Watkins Glen, New York, and the Jordan Pilot trip to New Jersey were won by world-famous Mario Andretti now takes the lead in U.S. Auto Club. Vanti poverty workers out of Charleston, West Virginia, are taking information about birth control and family planning into the mountains of Appalachia. A new line of space toys drew impressive crowds of children of all ages in the Tokyo department stores on the eve of Apollo's touchdown. In the Mideast, young Jordanian guerrillas trained for battle, while new skirmishes broke out. In retaliation to Israeli assaults, a force of 32 Egyptian commandos slipped across the ceasefire... From 
from the U.S. Defense Department that beef... 1.5 million Biafrans have now succumbed to slaughter. All right. Great and to was carried out another successful Benjamin three to two in the Chicago Cubs are still counseled young Jordanian army over Viet Cong's American League. into orbit around the moon. The journey that had taken the lifetime of mankind was nearing its crucial moment. Oh, Apollo 11, Houston, we're wondering if uh, you started into the limb yet, over. Okay, Charlie, we're in the limb. The uh, docking index mark is the same. Roger, we copy. Houston, Apollo 11. Uh, Apollo 11 Eagle. The Lunar Module Eagle was again given a thorough checkout to ensure the functioning of all systems as Armstrong and Aldrin prepared to seal themselves off from Collins in the command module and for the two craft to pull apart. Okay, it's go there, Capcom on the hot fire. Okay, all flight controllers going around the horn, go, no, go for undocking. Okay, retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guide. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for undocking. Hello, Eagle Houston, we're standing by, over. Roger, how does it look? The Eagle has wings. Roger. The Eagle has wings. On its own now, but with Columbia near at hand, it coasted around to the backside of the moon, and there, while out of direct communication with the Earth, it fired its engine to slow its descent to a touchdown on the near side of the moon. Collins in Columbia continued in orbit, awaiting their return. Okay, all flight controllers, go no go for landing. Retro. Go. Fido. Go. Guidance. Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're go for landing. Over. Roger, understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. You're looking great. How you doing, Control? We look good here, fine. Roger, how about you, Telcom? Go. Guidance, you happy? Go. Fido. Go. 2,000 feet. 2,000 feet. Into the ag. 47 degrees. Roger. 37 degrees. Still looking very good. Your go. Top alarm. 1201. 1201. Roger, 1201 alarm. 1201 alarm. Same type, we're go flight. Okay, we're go. We're go, same type, we're go. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. Roger, 1202, we copy it. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 540 feet out of 15. 1050 feet down at 4. Altitude, velocity, light. In and down. 220 feet. 11 forward, coming down nicely. 200 feet. 4.5 down. 5.5 down. 
100 feet, three and a half down, nine forward. Okay, 75 feet, that's looking good, down a half. Six forward. 60 seconds. Lights on, forward, forward. 40 feet, down two and a half, picking up some dust. Great shadow. Four forward, drifting to the right a little. 30 seconds. Forward, just. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. This is Apollo Control Houston at uh, 105 hours. Uh, now into the flight to Apollo 11. Yeah, our current plan is to have uh, crew members aboard the Eagle to eat and relax for a little while prior to starting EV. EVA prep, so we won't know with certainty uh, or have a reasonable time hack until about an hour before the schedule. Right now, like uh, uh, the schedule.ライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナーはライナー
Are you getting a TV picture now, Houston? Neil, yes, we are getting a TV picture. You're in our field of view now. Okay, you ready for me to come out? All set. Okay, I'm on the top step. It's a very simple matter to hop down from one step to the next. You've got three more steps and then a long one. Okay, I'm going to leave that one foot up there and uh, both hands down to about the fourth rung up. There you go. Okay, now I think I'll do the same. A little more. Got another inch. There, you got it. That's a good step. Magnificent flight out here. Magnificent desolation. Weather is very, very fine powder, isn't it? Isn't it fine? Hey, Neil, didn't I say we might see some purple rocks? Find the purple rocks? Yep. Very small, sparkly uh, fragments. Okay, Houston, I'm going to change lenses on you. Uh, Roger, Neil. Uh, you're going too fast on the panorama sweep. You're going to have to stop for... Stopping. I haven't stopped. I haven't set it down yet. That's the first picture in the panorama. Okay, I'm going to move it. Tell me if you got a picture, Houston. Well, we've got a beautiful picture, Neil. Okay, we've got that one. Okay, there's another good one. Uh, for a final orientation, we'd like it to come left about uh, five degrees over. Okay. Okay, that looks good there, Neil. Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. Every precious minute of their two and a half hours on the surface was programmed. Rock and soil samples were to be collected, photographs taken, experiments set up to catch unfiltered particles from the sun, to record moon quakes, to measure precisely by laser beam reflection the exact distance between moon and earth. Columbia, Columbia, this is Houston, AOS, over. Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. They're setting up the flag now. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's all right, I don't mind a bit. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes on the lunar surface. Beautiful, just beautiful. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike, it really is. like to evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the surface. You do have to be... All right, you do have to be uh, rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is. Sometimes it takes about two or three paces to uh, make sure that uh, you've got your feet underneath you.
Lopez is making his way around the limb, photographing it from various angles, uh, looking at its condition on all sides. Uh, right in this area, there are two craters. Uh, the one that's right in front of me now, as I look off in about the uh, 11 o'clock position from spacecraft, about uh, 30 to uh, 35 feet across. Roger up. In the foreground, Buzz Aldrin is collecting a core tube sample. I hope you're watching uh, how hard I have to hit this into the ground uh, to the tune of about five inches, Houston. Roger. It almost looks wet. Uh, Buzz, this is Houston. Uh, you've got about 10 minutes left now prior to commencing your EVA termination activities, over. Doctor, I understand. It's marvelous. Absolutely fantastic. The first person on the moon. No, it's just too much. I, I can't get over it. I don't know how to put it, you know, but uh, it's the uh, most marvelous thing. It's a miracle. This is formidable. I don't know what. We are really thrilled for every American. This has to be the proudest day of our lives. And for people all over the world. It's great, really great for the whole world. This, this means a lot to all the countries, not just for America. And being out of it and being closest to the moon makes us realize that we're all human beings together. I hope this brings you amongst all countries. And I just hope it won't help you from solving all internal problems you may have. Well, I think it's a waste of a lot of money, but it could be used for something else. They holler that people are being on um, starvation. This huge amount of money Americans spend to see what the moon is like, what's for? It's disgusting. It's a pity they haven't got something else to do. It'd be, be better if they'd done something for the oldens. What if Columbus had decided he couldn't get the money from Isabella? Where would That's we be? That's one of God's celestial planet, and he put it in the sky for a purpose, and he didn't put it up there for people to clutter up like they have the Earth. Myself, I'm really interested to see what's up there. And we must open all secrets that are opening to us throughout the ages. I think uh, that uh, the dream of the man from the beginning of the human race is coming now. And so, standing firmly in the lunar surface is the American flag, left behind by the Apollo 11 crew. Next week, the Eagle returns to Earth with a viable cargo. Scientists examine the various rock samples that the Apollo 11 crew brought back with them. Conclusions are drawn about how unique the Earth is in comparison to other planets. I'm Lynn Bondurant.